Hey, this is Beth from Dainty Daisies Merchandise. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel. I'm a part-time reseller and I'm also a stay-at-home mom to three babies. I resell jewelry mostly and just anything else that I can find to sell online. Um, I'm usually doing Goodwill blue boxes. Today, this is a giant, as you can see, 10.75 pounds of estate jewelry. I bought this online. I think it was on eBay, I wanna say. Um, but I bought it online just to kind of give myself some entertainment in between Goodwill blue boxes and I just wanted to try something new. Like I said, I've been kind of trying to trying to find other things to buy besides just the Goodwill blue boxes. I love Goodwill blue boxes and I'm still waiting for my one for this week. So I thought I'd go ahead and dig into this. This has been in my house for about a week now. I haven't opened it yet. So I'm, I did take off my address, but I think this came from Iowa. So we're gonna jump into this. Thank you so much to all my new subscribers. I really appreciate all the support. Also to all the people that have left me comments of encouragement and also information. My channel, I like, I'm not a professional. I like to do this for a side hustle. I'm a stay at home parent, so I don't have an income, a steady income. Um, but I started reselling and it's really helped my family a lot. And also just learning about jewelry and everything else. I've only been doing it for about six months. So I'm a newbie, so take it easy on me. But if you have any information, of course, please share with me if I'm saying something incorrectly. Um, you know, there's just so much information on jewelry out there in the world and I'm a newbie. So please help me out, uh, share your information with me. I know you guys, some of you guys have been doing this for probably longer than I've been alive. So please help me, help me find some stuff. So this looks like a ton of bags, which is great. I'm not opposed to that. Kind of looks like it's just been kind of thrown in there. I'm not opposed to that either. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna start kind of digging through. I see this little cloisonne, I wanna say, is that right? This bracelet I like. So I'm gonna try and pull out a couple of these. So I'm gonna try and do, if I can't get all this done in one video, I'll do like a part one and then part two. Um, I see a lot of bangles in this bag. So I'm just gonna kind of try and take some of them out. We'll just look at each one. So this is also some bangles. Looks like some watches as well. Uh, more bangles, lots of bangles. So I'll set that aside. I'm just gonna try and take them each out. We'll just take a look all together. Oh, another little cloisonne. Another, ooh, I think that, that's a good one right there. So I'll put that to the side. I'll, I'll try and open the ones that I see, some stuff that I like first. That's kind of cool. Looks like a good bit of costume jewelry. So this is an estate sale buy. It said it's unsearched, which, you know, I usually don't believe because, and I really don't believe it because it's put all in, in bags. So I don't think this is probably not unsearched, but it's probably got some decent stuff in here. So I'm not opposed to it. A pearl necklace, it looks like. Oh, a bead just jumped out at me. Oh, that's cool, a little Supergirl. My daughter might like that. So I have three little babies from four to, and I think my littlest one now is like eight months. When you have three kids, it's like, you don't even remember. You're, it's hard to remember the birthdays, so. <laughs> There's a watch. Another watch. Oh, we're stuck to the side over there. And it looks like a whole bunch of, not a whole bunch, but a couple watches in there too so all right let's just look at some of these at the bottom here too so much jewelry in one box all right I'm gonna grab a couple of these and we'll start with this so i do sell lot boxes i sell on poshmark etsy and ebay and um yeah so you can check all those out i'll have the links down in the description and here we go so this just looks like a little, I think it's called seed beads. I've been reading a book. Oh, I meant to grab it. I'll show it in my next video. But if you guys have any book suggestions, please let me know. I would love to, I'm a reader, so I really like to read books, especially on jewelry. I kind of have a book right now that's kind of teaching me all the, all the basics about jewelry right now. So if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know, especially the vintage pieces. I'd love to get a book on vintage. So like I said, I think this is a seed bead. Uh, necklace doesn't look like anything too fancy it looks like this is rusted out I got I don't know what this is from my box um, probably gonna put that in a lot 
So it's cool. Looks like a little spinner ring. Spins around. And I know some of you guys have asked me to kind of go slower or hold up pieces individually. Um, when I have bigger lots, I might not be able to hold each individual one up. So please, if you feel like you want me to show you something, I'll, I will gladly email you to you. Um, and also, my husband was telling me to the, like uh, to pause the video and maybe kind of try and zoom in as well. Um, but of course, don't, you know, don't go too crazy. If you think that I'm going too fast, definitely just let me know and I'll, I'll definitely try and slow it down. I'm not very uh, tech savvy either, so this YouTube thing is, is intriguing to me. <laughs> so I see kind of this, I think it says TI with a star in there. Yeah, TI, it's got a star, I think with an F in it. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's a star with an F and then TI. But I do love, I used to love these spinning rings when I was a little kid. I used to just think they were so cool. I got this white stuff all over my hands. My, I messed up my hands working in the yard. So there you go. But I can't tell what this says. Rover? Maybe that's H. H with some kind of like an upside down E or something or O. So maybe that's trying to be an H or a T. And then P E V E R. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what that's supposed to spell, but it's cute. It's, I just like the spinning on it. So that's cool. I'll definitely see if that's a resellable item. So this is interesting with the little owl eyes. Looks like just some beads maybe. Hmm, this will probably go in a lot. I don't see anything too intriguing on it. Uh, what does that say? Something. I can't tell what it says. Definitely looks just like a... Was it working? No. It was not working. So a lot of this stuff will go in a lot. And I do know there's people. So it's stainless steel, plastic made in China, H2O resistant to 100 meters, and then a serial number. So yeah, a lot of these will go in a lot. Like any of this, this looks like it too. This is like a very, it's kind of cool. This like plastic face on this. The back of it's kind of cool too. So let's see what it says. So this says Swata or Sweta something? I don't know. I don't think this is working either. Mm. Uh, doesn't look like too crazy. It's kind of cool, these little like opal style. On the sides, it's missing two over here though. This is pretty though. If it was working, we'd really be in business, but mm. let's put to the side. All right, let's see. Which bag do we want to open first? Oh, this one's heavy. Which one do I want to see first? This one's kind of cool. Let's, let's see what we got in here. Ooh. Okay, we got a bag inside of the bag too, so. I'll put this aside and then Let's look at this one. So like I said, I've never done this before, so I'm very just interested to see if it was even worth my money. I think I spent $70 on this, but being about 10 pounds, a little over 10 pounds, um, that would cost about two Goodwill blue boxes for about the same same price. So I didn't feel like I was going too overboard. overboard. This is Chico's little earring. This is cute. Little mixed metals and chains. So I'll put that to the side. Let me try and see if I got a match for that in here. Those pesky unmatched earrings. Even though my last one, I was blown away with the vintage Givenchy. So you guys check out that video too if you haven't seen it. It's a good one. There's the match. So that's cool. I'll definitely try and sell these. Probably, I don't know, like $13, maybe $10. Depends on which website. Each website charges a different amount, like Etsy and Poshmark and eBay. So... Um, I kind of just try to make it as even as possible, but then I also, um, you know, I have to have a little bit of cut myself because I think Poshmark takes 20%, so it's a pretty big chunk. These are cute too, these little star rings. 
little stars here. Kind of got a lot going on in the background, so I'm sorry if this is distracting. Like I said, I'm I'm very new at this. I I like my channel because it's a I feel like it's a learning space. It's somewhere that, you know, we can all learn together. I can learn. People can read the comments and they can learn. So, yeah, I'm trust me, I'm not a professional. I I just I really enjoy doing this. So, but I do like these earrings. I'll definitely probably try and resell those too. Oh, these are cute. They're combined. Uh, I can't tell. So if there's kind of like faded a little bit on here, you see kind of just, I don't know. I might be able to clean these up, but these look good. These are pretty good looking. I need to undo the clasp here and make sure we're not working with any markings. Mm, I'm not seeing anything, but they're cute. Little twisted dangle earrings if I can clean them up. So that's three sets of earrings right there. That's pretty good so far. Oop, and I think I already see this one. This one's cute. These little dangle earrings, but they've got like the hammered metal on it. It's really cute. I like those. I'm also going to have my dumpster diving video up soon. Like I said, I'm, I'm kind of behind. The summertime is kind of taking it out of me. So I'm definitely going to try and sell those. I don't see any markings on them though. The markings on e these either, but these are kind of cute too. They're like dangle and then they're, they got the hearts with the heart cut out. That's cute. I appreciate all my overseas subscribers. You guys are awesome from Australia, um, Great Britain. Um, I think there was Mexico too. So, hola. Uh, my grandma's from Spain. So, hello. <laughs> and we got the little bow tie. This one kind of feels a little loose. Yeah. These are cute though. These are really cute. I think one's missing the back, but don't fret. I've definitely got backs available. Oh, those are cute. Try and sell those. So shoot, we've gotten one, two, three, four, five, six pairs so far. Ooh, these are pretty too. And then the little bow tie with the little faux pearls, it looks like. Trying to see if I see any 925 markings or anything like that. I'm not seeing anything, but these are really cute. I would definitely try and resell those. So those are cute. And like I said, I'm trying to go slower for you guys, but I do have a lot of jewelry to go to go through, so I can't really focus on too many or hold them for too long. I'm trying to let you guys see them as much as possible and then kind of move on to the next. Oh, these are cool too, these little like wrapped metal, like the beads on them. It's cute. Let me try and resell those as well. It's a good, good bag of earrings, my goodness. Oh, those are cute too. Little swirls with a little like dagger, I guess, down at the bottom. The jewels, these are really cute. Whoever this was had some good style. I like the flowers. I'm, I'm a little hippie. I like my flowers and my nature and my jewelry. My husband calls me a hippie. <laughs> I am not offended. I like my little hippie style. I'm trying to find another one for this. Don't, s oh, there it is. These are cute. Another like hammered metal kind of look with the little dangles down. I must have gotten paint or something on my finger. Maybe it, that wasn't from the box. Maybe that's from something else. selling my house soon so I'm got a lot going on guys so I appreciate appreciate the help on my videos kind of saves me a little bit of time too from researching every single piece um you guys made a comment last night. I think this might be a little tiger's eye maybe not cold though so maybe it's just fake tiger's eye but kind of has that shine of it but somebody helped me out last time I don't see any markings Helped me out last time in my last video. I had a necklace. Uh, it had tiger's eye and something else. Oh, it was um, freshwater pearls. And it ended up being, I want to say Sp Spilda. I think it's S-P-I-L-D-A, Spilda. Um, that necklace ended up being, I think I put it online. I couldn't find it for a little while. Then uh, I was given the name on YouTube and I researched it. I think I had it online for like 25 bucks. 
and I researched it and it was worth 65 and it's a vintage piece. Um, it's retired. So yeah, it was, it was really cool. So I really appreciate you guys' help finding stuff. This is cool. There's just so much to learn about jewelry. It's almost overwhelming. So I really enjoy you guys' comments to kind of, hey, this is that, or no, you know, you're not right. This is something else, or, you know, this is kind of worn. So I'll probably put this in a lot. You see that? They're cute though. Just a little bit worn. I try to get kind of the better quality ones and let the, the lots be the ones that either, you know, people are just trying to find something for themselves or craft with. These are cute, like minimal. I feel like they're modern kind of look. Maybe even like Art Deco kind of, the squares, I don't know. I'm learning about my, you know, different, different styles too. So like I said, lots to learn in this jewelry world. All right, these are okay. They just seem like they're a little tarnished a little bit or worn. I think they're really cute. They're just the little worn. So I'm probably gonna put these in a lot. I like the details on it though. That's the side. Earrings, I'm gonna put these in a lot. This one's got some kind of mark. Guess, okay, so that's cool. People like guess, so I'll definitely keep these. Try and sell them. And they say guess right there, it's kind of cute. This is a good little earring bag. That was nice, first little dip in Dip of my toes, I got plenty of earrings. This one's missing, so I'm gonna put it in a lot. And these two are cute. We'll see about that. And then these tiny little feathers are really cute too. So we'll see if I keep these or not. Those are cute, super detailed, little feathers on it. I think that's a feather, yeah. Oh, there's that little piece to that earring. I'm gonna put it in a lot though. Lot, lot, lot. These are going a lot too. All right, so we got plenty of earrings here. I'm gonna push these to the side as much as I can. My magnet's gonna try and stick to everything. Because we got a lot to go through. All right, first up, this is what kind of made me buy this in the first place. I think I've seen these online though. I think they've gone, I think maybe like $30. This one's so pretty though. It's in great shape. Uh, I wanna say this is, I know I'm probably saying it wrong, but Clus uh, but this is really pretty. Beautiful piece, super detailed with the butterflies. I think this is a vintage piece too, so from my Googling on the internet, I get to see a lot of random pieces as well, and this is, I think, one of those random pieces that I came across. This is really cute. Really, really cute. Opens in the front. It's a cool piece, so put it over here. I've got a lot of piles going on here. Ooh, this feels nice. This feels like some kind of stone. Can't remember what stone is it? Jade maybe? That's green. I know, like I said, I'm learning. <laughs> Patience with me, people. All right, I'm just trying to see if there's any like 925 silver marking on this. I don't see one. This is really pretty, cold to the touch. Very pretty little Jeweled. I have my presidium out here, so I'm going to pull this out, see if we've got any, any kind of reading on this. Make sure I'm calibrated good here. Yeah, that'll work. All right. This feels really cold to the touch, I'm saying. I'm thinking this is something real. Yeah. Hmm. It's not reading up to shade though. So I'll do a little bit of research on that. That's a very beautiful piece. I think it's on this leather, leather little band. Very beautiful. Very beautiful piece. You can see kind of the texture, or the like different colors in there too, kind of like whitish. Kind of hard to see with my ring light. It's reflecting off of it, but I'm trying to get the best lighting I can in here. So this is pretty. Definitely try and resell that. I've got a lot. My husband will be on nights this weekend, so I'm gonna be posting some jewelry. So if you guys have been waiting for me to post something, it will be posted this weekend. I'm gonna be posting like crazy. This is really pretty. Really pretty, very sparkly. I love this little um, teardrop. 
Jewel. Claire's. You know, I, I still got to love Claire's though. The, this part is kind of tarnished, this top part. But I still might try and sell this. I might be able to clean this up a little bit. So I'll put it to the side. Be my think about pile. Oh, we've got a little like magnifying glass necklace. Ay, ay, ay. Right, we got some tangles here, so bear with me. Right, we got a little cheap, very light. It's probably aluminum. Um, chain necklace. I'm going to put it in a lot. I'm trying to kind of dig these out. All right, so this is also feels like leather. But I think this is a magnifying glass, isn't it? Yeah. So that's kind of cool. I might let my kid keep that. He loves magnifying glasses. My, my two-year-old and my four-year-old are like the twins, and they like to fight over everything. So... There's a magnifying glass that they got from their Gigi and Papa, and they're currently fighting over it, so that's a great find for me. <laughs> now they can have their two separate ones. They'll probably fight over that one because it's new, but whatever. We'll let them brawl it out, right? Okay, so this is cute. That's pretty, um, I want to say, like, ordinary. You know, nothing too crazy about it. Little fig beads, little plastic beads with a chain. I'll put it in a lot. Oh my goodness. All right, here we go. There's another one. Well, this kind of reminds me, I'm learning about planets with my son right now. I just got him a new space book and I do homeschool with him. A um, little pre-K, he'll be going to normal school eventually, but I do pre-K with him and, and my daughter too. I shouldn't leave her out. And um, yeah, we're learning about planets. So it's cool. I might have to keep that one for him too. Otherwise, going in a lot. I really, like, I love these necklaces like this, but they're also super annoying with jewelry. Because I get caught on everything. I don't even think I'm going to be able to get it out. Not yet. Let's just keep digging. Aye, aye, aye. All right. Oh. Trying to keep this somewhat organized for y'all. Looks like just a gold chain. I'm sure it's just fake. I feel a little bit of magnet on there. I don't know. It might be plated or something. I'll test it, but I mean, it's a pretty chain. Like a little interlocking. It's detailed. It's really cool. I'm definitely going to keep it and do, do some testing on it. I would usually do that in these videos. I would test it for you guys, but there's so much in this. I'm just going to keep on going and I'll let you guys know maybe in the next video. This is cute. Got these little stones. These might be shells, like dyed shells, but this is really cute. I like this a lot. I'm gonna let you guys kind of have a look at it. I'm gonna try and let's see if I can zoom in. Ooh, here we go. Oh, sorry. Making y'all sick over there. So there you go, there's a little zoomed in. These little pretty pearls, this as well. These little seed beads kind of, and these little shells. Let's zoom back out so we can see it all together, but this is cute really cute. Definitely try and sell it. Nothing too crazy, but I like the like the springs almost, or coils, whatever you want to call them. It's cute. Cute, cute, cute. Keeping it. Alright, looks like we got a lot of chains going on. And I might do some metal testing. I'm just trying to kind of get through some of this. I really think it's something, but those big chains are usually nothing. Into just costume. But I sell a lot of costumes, so it might make the cut. Like I said, these obnoxious ring ones drive me crazy, but I do like them. This will probably go in a lot. Just because it's a lot of space to kind of take up in my my area. I'll have a little space in my new house for an actual office because right now I'm like in my kitchen and my laundry room and I don't have a specific place yet to have all my stuff. I'm pretty well organized to be all over the place, but still it's it's a pain. And this looks just like a chain. So I did all that work just for a chain. This is a pretty chain though. I like to keep these little dainty chains 
um, because sometimes I'll get pendants or whatever and I'll add it or I'll say, you know, free 925 chain included on a sale and people like that. So I keep that. Oh, wait, that's not my cute pile. See, told you, you gotta be careful. Mix up your piles, you'll lose a good piece. All right, what is this? Love what you do. Santos, do what you love, okay. What is this, who's this by? Alisa Michelle, so she's a good one. I'll probably keep this then. It's pretty, kind of like that hammered metal again. But Alisa Michelle, I've gotten a bangle from her as well. I think I still have it posted, but it was worth, I think, like 35 bucks. So something like that I'm sure is worth a lot less, but it's still, it's the brand that, you know, buys it sometimes, so. This says NRT, I think that's Avon, I wanna say. Maybe not. It's just so much to learn, you guys, it's crazy. The amount, I'm like, oh, I feel like a, like an infant trying to crawl <laughs> into this arena. Because <laughs> Texas Gal Treasures is super smart. Of course, Dr. Lori is amazing. So there's just, there's a lot of wonderful people. Um, oh, I forget the other one too. Something vintage. She, I think her name's Dawn. She's also amazing. Check out her channel. This is cool. Um, I'll probably, yeah, we'll see. This was catching my eye. We might have to test this. This is adorable. It looks like maybe a, like a little baby bracelet. Definitely wouldn't fit me or anybody else that I know. So I'm going to say maybe this is a baby bracelet. I do have my tester. So we're just going to test this really quick. Do a line there. And then I would like to do a couple spots on here just to make sure. Oh my goodness, if I can get it. It's not really scratching really well, so I'm thinking. It's nothing. Uh, maybe a little something underneath it. Let's just see. Start with the 10K. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything fading. So that's cool. This might be plated then. 10k plated. Is it still there? I'm probably gonna say it's probably 10k. Let's scratch it again though, just to make sure. Yeah, let's scratch that again. Oops. Okay. My phone said I'm getting low on the battery. Yeah, it's burning. Woo. Steaming right off there. All right, so. Looks like at least 10K, so that's cool. Might have to keep this for my daughter because this is really cute, really cute. So I'll keep that. Let's keep on trucking along here. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is all tangled together. Let's see, another little chain it looks like, maybe in like sterling or something. Just my, my biggest go-to for untangling things, just un undoing the knot or undoing the clasp. This is cool though. Oh, all right, here we go. This feels kind of gross, but I might be able to clean that up. It's kind of bent though in a couple spots, so uh, I don't know. I'll put that in the maybe pile. Another little chain, it looks kind of tarnished as well. Yeah, it's magnetic, so I'm gonna put that in a, in a lot. Whew. These nuts. Don't you like it? This is ridiculous. This looks like a lot of costumes, so I might just go through this later. Looks like I'm missing a piece in there. Oops. 
missing. It looks like glued in too. So I'm gonna just try and kind of look at these individually in here. Is this Avon, the gold chain, and they okay. So this is probably Avon then. This like cloth nonsense. Looks like it's got this heart attached to it. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's some kind of brand. I can't remember. The hearts. I'll say they make t-shirts maybe as well. I'm thinking about something else probably. Either way, I'm going to look at this one. It's really shiny though. It looks good. Good condition. I don't see any other markings on it. So put that in the maybe pile. And then the rest of these is like a chain. And then this metal mixed metal one this little plastic cross and then this will be the necklace so put in a lot this little another seed bead i don't know if these are technically seed beads but i don't know i might keep this one for my daughter my daughter's gonna have so much jewelry by the time she's older she's gonna be walking around with chains on her and all kinds of stuff it's another chain i might keep oh this is cute look at that Ooh. Isn't pretty? It looks like a locket, too. Let's just make sure we don't have any markings. Looks like we do have a marking. Avon. That's cute, though. This is a really cute little Avon. Let's open the nothing. Avon used to be, like, super cool when I was younger. <laughs> like this, though. So. Let me try and sell that. Here we go. Are we hematite or magnetite? Let's see. Must be hematite then. Not really magnetic. This is cute though. Little necklace. It's got like some kind of like heart. Or is it a heart? A cross? Heart maybe at the bottom. This is cute though. Little barrel clasp and the little squares. It's these are kind of more magnetic, but could be, yeah. Maybe a mix of hematite and magnetite. I like this. I'll probably try and sell it. Wow, I picked probably the most complicated bag off the rip. These other ones don't seem like they have that much necklaces. So this will probably go in a lot. Oh, it's got an A stamp. What is that? I forget. What is that A stamp? You guys help me out if you know. Oh, I can't remember what that is. This is, I mean, it's really cute. I was going to put it in a lot, but now it's got that brand on there. Mainly because I saw this a little marking on there. I don't know if I can get it out. It's supposed to be where the necklace sits, I think, but. It's cute. We'll see. We will see. Now we got a whole bunch of gold chains going on. Cute little flip flop though. Cute little jeweled flip flop. Shiny enameled looking little chain. I'm sure you get this at a beach store somewhere, but it's cute. I might try and sell it. Go in the movie pile. So this guy is interesting. Okay. So we got like clothes pinned and faux pearls. That's a lot. I'm gonna put it in a lot. This is cute. Look at that. It's like got a little diamond or something on the inside, you see? That's cute. I'll probably try and sell this. It's just normal chain, but this is cute. It's got that diamond in there, you see? <laughs> kind of like shake it around. It's cute. I'll try and sell that. It's another kind of cool chain. This looks like to be a lot of chains. So this is a cool chain though. Looks like it got a stamp on there, but this is cool if you can see. I don't know what you call that. Like I said, I'm still learning, so be nice to me, please. <laughs> I-R-X-G-R-R. What does that say? 18, okay, it says 18 karat gold plated. Hmm. 18 karat gold plated. Very magnetic. Hmm. I don't 
I mean, I guess it still could be magnetic with gold plating, but I mean, it's like white gold plating because this doesn't look like gold colored at all. Huh. What's y'all's opinion on that? We'll see about that. I'll put it in the maybe pile. Yeah, this looks like a little like hand and necklace. Hmm. I don't see any markings. We're doing a lot. Now we've got tons of gold chains. So let's see, this looks very, very gold. So I'm thinking maybe it's plated. The markings, well, this is cute. It's got like the little arrow and the heart. This is cute. Twisted little gold chain. Kind of looks like that, uh, the bracelet. I'm thinking it's probably plated. Looks like the exact same. So I'm sure it's plated, maybe with some 10K or something. I don't know. Another little, same with that really yellow toned. Very yellow. So I'll put that in the maybe. Well, it looks like maybe there used to be a watch or something here. Looks like it was broken, but maybe it's not. Oops. So you see it like has a little circle. Yeah, like can twist off. See? I think I want to say there's a marking on here. There is. S in. Hmm. We'll see about that. Put that in the maybe. This is gonna be a lot to go through. So I don't know how often I'll be doing stuff like this, just because it is a lot to go through. Definitely have to break it up probably in two videos here because we're already about 40 minutes in and I've gotten through two bags. Well, I think it's maybe one bag. <laughs> or two? Yeah, kind of one-ish, one and a half. So it's a chain, I'm gonna keep it. Another chain, I'm gonna keep that. And this gold chain, which says something. This is pretty though. Monet. I like the clasp right here. You see it's got like the circle in the middle. It says something too. What's that say? I can't read what that says. It looks kind of worn down. Hmm, can't tell what that says. It says Monet on this side, but I can't. Maybe it's just Monet on that side. It just says something else though, I think. Hmm, I don't know. This is a really pretty Monet. Very sparkly. Very shiny. I'm sure it's probably vintage too, so I'm gonna keep it. It's a cool one. Oh my gosh, this endless amount of necklaces. This is cute though. It's like triple layered over here. Looks like another chain. I'm gonna put that to the side. Ooh, this is cute. Trying to clean this area up a little bit. Can you tell I have OCD? Well, this is cute. I really like the triple layer and the colors on this. This is really cute. So I'll definitely try and sell that. Very, very cute. I don't know how I'm gonna ship it because it's totally gonna get tangled. I'm joking, I know how to ship necklaces now, but my beginner me would have been like a little frustrated by this. There you go, that's a good one. It's a cute one. My inventory is about to go through the roof. I'm stocking back up here. All right, looks like we got some painted pearl. Looks like I could just literally scrape off the coating on this. I'm gonna put that on a lot. Mm. This is whew, dirty little chain. 
dirty little chain and super magnetic. I don't, and some of these chains I might keep, but this one's so thick. I just don't know what I would put it on. So a lot, this is definitely going on a lot too. Just fading away and magnetic. Little W stamp or something. Hmm. It's cute though. I'll probably keep this. Um, another chain. Ooh, this might be a 925 chain. I like the giant clasp on it. I don't know why I like some things that are like super dainty and they have like big old clasp on it. Yeah, 925 Indo. So probably like, I think maybe like Indonesia or something. Nothing on the back, but that's a 925 chain. So it looks like a 925, like, mm, untarnished. That's the word I'm looking for. Oh, my hands are so dirty, so I'll keep that. Looks like a Friends. What is this, from like Claire's or something? This looks like it's from Claire's. It's cute. Maybe if I find the other one, I might sell them together or something. Because, hey, costume jewelry sells. Do not hate on costume jewelry. It definitely are sellable pieces. And people will buy it. You'd be shocked at the amount of costume jewelry that I've sold. Old Navy. This is cute, though. Super minimal. And some of these things I like to keep for myself. Little dainty things like this. Little, like, teardrop kind of. I like it, though. Oh, my gosh. I thought my dogs were panting. It's like a bird chirping outside. Super loud. We have an abundance of nature. Like birds. It's like a bird sanctuary in my neighborhood. Okay, these two are, this is going to go in a lot, it's a lot, mm. Avon, I'm going to put that in a lot too, looks like another seashell necklace, oh my goodness, tangles everywhere, I'll put that in a lot, it's just getting on my nerves, getting tangled in everything. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like a dyed seashell necklace. It's kind of cool, though. It's got, like, the coppery look. I don't know. Hmm. We'll see. It might just be tarnished. <laughs> we got this chain mess. So many chains. I apologize. This is so many chains. Put that on a lot. This one's got another marking on it. I think it's that SW again. So I'm going to keep it. And then another chain. It's going to go in a lot. It looks like it's kind of broken on the edge over here, too. So, a lot, a lot. I'll have a big old lot box if anybody wants it. Icing. I think I've heard of these before. It's kind of tangled and just some costumes. So, I'm probably going to put that in a lot. Oh, we're getting down to the bottom of the pearls, at least. Or the pearls. What am I talking about? The necklaces. I was looking at that and thinking of pearls. Um, I'm gonna put this in a lot. It looks like just a we um, a wooden. I was thinking of weave, <laughs> weaved. So wooden necklace in a lot. Hmm. This also just. I mean, it's a cool necklace. I just probably gonna put it in a lot. So I've gotten a good bit out of this first bag. Mm, just like a chain lot. Let's hope we don't have another whole bag of chains and necklaces because holy cow. Lot. And last one's a lot. And then this last necklace in this bag. This is very long. Let me untangle it. Very long. It's still tangled, but... Looks just like some costume. Doesn't look like anything crazy. And these are cold to the touch. I'm gonna put it in a lot. Lots of just seafood. Max, quit licking yourself. All right, next up we're gonna go do this bag. And it looks like some bangles and some bracelets. Maybe some copper or something, so. Here's an Omega chain. Hmm. I don't see any markings. Like gold toned. 
So it's cool. I might keep it. We'll put it in the maybe pile. Okay. Let's see what this is. Pewter. Okay. What does it say to Wa I was gonna say Watson, but Waits? Waits pewter? Hmm. I've never heard of it, but I know pewter goes for a decent amount, so it gets some scratches and stuff on here, but pretty stretchy, so that's definitely keepable. Definitely some money in that. Ooh, this copper is catching my eye, too. Let me just scoot this over a little bit. This is cool. A little bangle. Looks like we have a marking. Sequin. So it's cute. This is really cute. Really cute. Very trendy piece for sure. Definitely sellable. Looks like a little stretch bead. Or um, I want to say maybe shell again. This might kind of looks like abalone. 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 <laughs> I've been saying that wrong. Abalone. Maybe this is inside out. Okay, there we go. Maybe it's tiger's eye. Huh. What do you guys think? Kind of looks like tiger's eye to me too. Hmm, interesting. Keeping that one. All right, looks like maybe some shoe clip. Have shoe clips. Put that in a lot. This is a cute little owl. Aye, aye, aye. More chains, guys. All right, looks like these two are twisted together. Or maybe they're all together. Oh, okay, there we go. Big old owl. Interesting. Come on. Hmm. It's got that marking on there. Excuse my dogs and their bodily functions. <laughs> oh, I don't know why I put that in a lot. I'm going to put that in a maybe. Like I said, I'll go through everything and kind of pick and choose which ones I want to keep. And if it's really worth my time to sit there and sell it. And, you know, if it's only worth like five bucks or something. But, hey, five bucks is five bucks. So, I do. I am a little picky, but I'll take it. This is cute, it's just kind of multi-chained necklace. It's very magnetic, so I'm probably gonna put it in a lot. Another shoe clip, it looks like. Looks like maybe some like hashtags, or maybe that's Asian writing. Hmm. I don't know about that. Another like, I don't know what kind of, it's supposed to be like writing or Max quit. I have a great Dane and he is very loud. Uh, hmm, I don't know what I, how I feel about this. No markings or anything, so put it to the side. This is cute. I'm sure. Oh, it's like a hat. It's a bonnet with some flowers on it. It kind of looks like it's a little worn down though. So I'll probably put that in a lot as well. It's pretty, but... Ooh, it's like very, lots of plastic on this one. It's really pretty though. Reminds me of like the older paintings. Ooh, I have a lot of these. The glass pendants. I'll add it to my bunch. Keep that. Uh, another little pendant. It's okay. Mm, a bit too spectacular about that one. My Dane is adjusting, <laughs> moving over to his other bed. This is cute, little costume diamond on there. Put it in a lot. Uh, this is kind of cool too. Little heart, jeweled heart on there. It's okay. Put it in a lot. DI die with a little seashell. Looks like maybe there's something else or should have been something else on there. Hmm. I don't know about that one. I'll probably put it in a lot. This looks like a broken chain. It's a Monet. Maybe that's what this 
Maybe with the broken pieces. Hmm. Hurt it a lot. All right, this one's reminds me of like a snake chain. Like the rounded. My fingers are super dirty. Mm, it's okay. Magnetic, so I'm gonna put it in a lot. This is so cute. I'll rub these pearls together real quick. Yeah, fake. So I just rub them together and make sure that they're not gritty. But look how cute this is. Oh my gosh, my daughter is gonna love this. I might have to keep this one again too. It's kind of big, but look how adorable. They're obsessed with ladybugs, so this is a perfect little bracelet for my little one. My son might fight her for this one. He's really obsessed with ladybugs. I need to get him a little jar or whatever to catch him. But I do like that it has like the the two options. It's like the smaller and bigger, so it's kind of cute. I'm gonna keep that one. Oh, this is pretty, and another little. Close in there. It says Sterling, 925 Sterling on there. It's really pretty. Looks like maybe it's broken or scratched or something on there. You see that part? But the ring, other than that, is really pretty. Oh, it looks like it's missing another one too. Darn. Really pretty otherwise. Put it in the maybe saved pile. All right, this looks like just a copper, maybe mixed metal. Kind of looks like goldish over there. Looks like copper to me, though. Very dainty, like minimal. I'm getting very tan outside, so <laughs> very freckled lately. Um, so yeah, this is really pretty, though. Very minimal. Minimal little bracelet. Definitely going to sell that. I don't know. I probably would sell this for maybe like $15, $15. Got all these copper. Let's see, maybe this is copper too. It might be mixed in there. Uh, especially, I don't know if it's supposed to have like this black stuff in there. It's got a little green, so is that like silver as well? Very bendy. Could really bend it out, but that hammered look. I have to do a little bit of research on that, but that's really pretty. Definitely sellable. I think that's probably like at least another 10 bucks. This is really nice with a little design on it. All these little swirls and squiggles and whatnot. All right, we got a marking on here. Let's see what it says. Solid copper. Wow. That's beautiful. Beautiful piece of work right there. I can't remember how much these were going for. I think I've seen a couple of these on Poshmark, um, just like the solid copper. Um, I want to say maybe they're like 30, 40 bucks. This is beautiful. Some of this stuff I like to keep, so it's oh, it's so hard for me not to keep some of this. That's beautiful, though. Wow. Another copper piece, it looks like. Don't see any markings on it, but... Ooh, that's pretty. Shiny thing. Very shiny. Looks like copper to me. Yeah, the, the color tone is very similar on those two. So that's a good good find. Ooh, I just sold one of these online. Yep. Let's see. Mexico stamp. What is that? I'm gonna say it's Mexico. Let's see if there's anything else. I think it's um what is it called? Yeah, it says Mexico. I'm pretty positive. I think it was Texco, Mexico. Gosh, it's so worn. Maybe that says Texco too. Mm, I can't tell. But I literally just sold one of these online the other week, I think for like 30 bucks. So shoot, just between these couple bangles right here, my goodness, I definitely made plenty of money back. I mean, shoot, this is like 15, at least probably 20 to 30, another, this would probably be more like 30, 40. Another probably 20. And then this one I just sold online just like this for 35, I think it was. So that's that's pretty good right there. Definitely made my money back on that. Those that pile, my goodness. This is cute little like belt. 
<laughs> My dad would probably like this. Don't see any markings on it, but it's really cute. Really cute. Pretty big too. For me at least. I got a pretty small wrist, but that's pretty cute. Alright, and we got a little 76 flag here with a circle and then the I think that's pretty old school. Um, yeah, I don't know. I might have to do some research on this one, but all right. I think maybe we could squeeze one more bag in this video. Let's see. Ooh, that doesn't have like a ton of stuff in it. Let's see. Uh, I don't know which one. Um. Let's just go with another bangle bag. Bag full bangles again. So let's go do this one and then I'll do a part two and we can check out the rest of these. Hmm. Feels very bendy. Eh. I think this is probably plastic, I want to say. It feels, feels like plastic. Bigger than a lot. No markings on this. It's kind of cool though. It's got like the wire wrapped on it for like a plastic bangle. Pretty interesting. Another little super, I think it's aluminum pro. Oh, nope. Something. Gonna go in a lot. Let's just dump it out. See what we're working with. There's a lucky brand. It's kind of cool though. The front of it. Really dirty though. Put in a lot. Another two bangles. I'm going to put these in a lot. This is kind of cute. I've actually sold these before to the multi chain. Not for a lot, but hey, you know. Looks like it says something maybe. Ugh, so many pieces up here with me right now. Nope, just be, being crazy. That's cute, though. I'll definitely try to resell that. All right. This is, like, super tarnished and, like, like ugh. I don't even know what's inside of that. Put it in a lot. This is cute. Little bangle. Jeweled bangle. It's kind of... Scratched up though, and uh, probably gonna put that in a lot too. This is kind of cute. It's got these, but it's like the yellow stone. I think somebody told me that that might be like the glue underneath. So, probably gonna lot this. That's really pretty though. Very pretty. Mm, another little faux pearl looking bangle lot. Ooh, this is pretty. And Natasha? It's pretty though. It's very I really like a really good detailed bangle. It really just makes a difference on a bangle. But Natasha. I think I've ever heard of that brand before, but hmm, we'll take a look. I like it. Put it in a lot. I know I'm kind of throwing a lot at you guys. So like I said, if you really want me to slow down on a piece or you want me to send you a piece, if you're you know have some questions about it, let me know. I'll I'll send it over to you. Just trying to squeeze it on two videos if I can. That's interesting. Probably gonna put this in a lot. It looks like some shells. I get worried about like this coloring. It like scares me. I'm like, is it bone? I don't think it is though. I don't think it's ivory or anything. So we'll put that in a lot. Uh, American Eagle Outfitters looks like. Yep, with the brand. And this has like the marking on the inside is where I saw it. Maybe if I clean it up, put it in the maybe pile. This looks like another bangle. So I'm interested. I'm like, do they get this out of one person's house? Because if so, this woman's a jewelry lover just like the rest of us. Or he. Little frog. 
thought, so this is an interesting piece. I mean, like almost like translucent pearl or translucent beads, but these really what's catching my eyes is pieces. It's like turquoise colored. Looks like wood. I don't see any markings or anything. Hmm, it's interesting. Very pretty, but just I don't know. I don't know about that one. This looks like a wood bracelet, a wood bangle. These are kind of cool. I don't think I've ever seen one in this clean of a bangle before. It's really pretty. I'm gonna have to keep that one. We got like a little dove, it looks like maybe. Ruth, maybe that's who this was. Maybe this is Ruth's stuff. It's cute though. Probably gonna put it in a lot though. More chains galore. So many chains, lot, lot, lot. This is cute. It's got like little squares. Like I said, I like a good detailed bangle. But I'm not seeing any workings. Hmm. Little stretch bracelet here with the skulls. Um, I've sold a good bit of like more of the goth style recently. That's kind of cool. But it's kind of tarnished, so. Hmm. In the maybe. So there we go. We have another like beaded bracelet. Thought hmm. you go. This is cute. So definitely a statement bracelet right there for you. Janie quit. Jane Jane, stop. My dog. Jane. see all right this is cool it's kind of bubbled up a little bit right there uh, oh is it coming off on me I think it is or maybe that's just the how dirty my fingers are from the slot uh, I'm gonna lot it up these will probably both go in a lot as well just some bangles look pretty tarnished this is cool, like a little wire wrapped. Hmm. That's pretty. I'm gonna lot it up though, because I don't have a ton of space. This is broken. Wish it wasn't, but it's broken. Had a tag in there. Can't can't read what it says though, something 99. Lot. Just make sure we're not working with any cool chains here that I can reuse. I don't think I am. Yep, so. All right guys, we got through three bags. I'm proud of us. That was a lot. I have a pretty big lot pile, but honestly, I think the biggest, best finds out of this so far are all of this copper. Really into all this copper. And then I'm pretty sure this is sterling. So these were some awesome finds right here. I think these are my six best finds that I found in here. So that's really awesome. Lots of resellable stuff though. Lots of really good pieces. Um, so if you haven't hit that subscribe button, hit that subscribe button for me. And until next time, I'm going to do another video, part two of this, to go through the rest of the bags that we have. And um, yep, yeah, until next time.